G'day, g'day, and welcome back to your daily dose of Karens. Karens, they're no good, idiotic, public freakouts here and completely stupid. The show about stupid people doing completely stupid things with your host, me, the Australian idiot, and let's get into the clips. According to YouTube, only 13% of you guys are actually subscribed who watch consistently. So I ask you, if you watch consistently, why don't you subscribe? It doesn't change anything for you. You still get my videos all the same, but it severely helps me. So subscribe. Here we witness one of the by far most interestingly dim-witted encounters I've probably seen. So this guy here, instead of saying thank you to an employee, they decide to say mucho gracias. I definitely said that wrong. Apologies there. And well, the employee's reaction to that is, uh... Interesting to say the least. Here's the clip. You're, if, why are you recording me? Because when I said muchas gracias to you, I said I'm you American. said it's America. No, I did not. What did you said say? I'm American. Okay. Meaning I can't just say muchas gracias to you. I don't know what the problem is, and if you've got a problem you with say me, it, then maybe you guys should leave. Okay. okay. Because if there's a problem, then maybe you there's guys no problem leave. whatsoever. We're having fun here. Apparently there is a problem you have a problem with me saying that I'm i don't American. have no problem whatsoever You're i said muchos grasses out of gra like i'm just you know i'm just saying that out of I'm greatness for you for you giving me a beer if you have a problem and you said then maybe this you is america leave, and i'm not gonna keep i have no with issue you. with you whatsoever then i would like you guys to pack it up and, and cash yeah yeah up, please but after that i said I this, can't believe you just said that. Okay. And then you said, you know this what? Keep it down here. We're having fun. Over. It's a pool alley. Please pack it up and let's Are go. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah, I know. So this is America, right? So we can't, I can't say muchos gracias to you. Are you kidding me? You got you to say that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Please just give me my up. check and let's go. Let's go. Seriously. No. You saw that, right? That's disgusting. That's rude. Okay. Okay. Who cares? No, mom is way. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, dude, we're all having fun here. I mean, still. I think that's. I don't, I don't want to shoot pool here anymore because I think. That's I mean, like, that's like, come on, like. Bullshit. I mean, we're having fun, dude. I, I just said much aggressive. Yeah. This is America. Yeah. Off of that. Off of that. Seriously. Wait, wait. Good. Just because I said muchos grasas. Seriously. Yeah, I, I didn't know that was uh, authentic. <sighs> I know. Me either. Yeah. Guess you're the owner too, huh? Yeah. You can say thank you to her for shutting your shit down. Don't give her a bunch of crap because she'll bite your head off. Just hurry up and give my check. Hurry up and give my check. Yeah. 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 Stay out. Oh, trust me. I'm going to stay out of here, dude. Trust me. Go right ahead. Now look, I can understand if you don't know what in the words he just said there, but you don't just say, I'm American, or this is America, or whatever you said you said. You say, I'm sorry, I don't understand that, what's that mean? And then we move on with our day. That's not being racist, that's you just genuinely saying, I don't understand that, I'm sorry. I would like you to tell me what it means so I know next time, type deal. Instead, you chose the route of saying, this is America, is which is what the OP claims, or what you claim, I'm American which both of those are wacky connotations, which is just like, you know, at, at best, a very poor choice of words if you don't mean any racist intent. At worst, well, we already know what the worst option is here. And then, of course, the owner comes out to uh, make sure they leave, which is, <laughs> of course, it's an old white guy. Why wouldn't it be? What the, this just, I don't know how more, much more stereotypical it could have been, really. Here we watch as someone makes probably the worst decision they could ever make after they accidentally run into someone when they're driving erratically. Here's a clip. You hit a person you back hurt, there. You hurt somebody. You hurt somebody. You Pull over. You hurt car. somebody. There's a guy who's seriously hurt. You ran somebody yeah. over. What is wrong with you? We all saw it happen. We're going to the cops. Uh, you gotta get off the damn truck. You ran him over. You gotta get off the truck. You understand? You ran him over. Get off the truck. Get out of the car. Get out of the truck. She's trying to get them to move. So she looks like she's about to run them over. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Out of the car. Out. Out. You ran him over. Oh my God. Oh my god, she just hit me. 
This is probably this has gone from you screwed up, your insurance is not going to be happy with you, you might cop a final two, to you'll probably just ruined your life because you hit someone and then attempted to run away from the scene. Like, there's nothing worse than that. Especially if that person ends up dying or something like that. You're screwed because of this fatal mistake of just trying to run away. Like, you probably already would have gotten some shit because you're erratically driving, driving recklessly. Not great. But then trying to run away after you hit someone? It's stupid. Obviously, you're either high, drunk, or it's a stolen car because no one in their right mind would ever think of doing that. That's so stupid. This guy's trying to pick up some makeup for someone else, and when they've asked for help from one of the people who are supposedly working there, this happens. Please, Wait, I, I didn't. I have three witnesses. I got her number. You are incredibly rude for no reason. I was incredibly rude. Yes, you are. No, do you have it? Do you get paid for this? Do you do your job? That's what you said. I asked if you got paid to. No, you are. So I, I come up. I ask you for help. Do you get paid for this? Do you think that's the appropriate response? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. Yeah, that, that's Did not you want the. Me to finish pointing out where Can, you you me? Can you help me? Can you help me and show me where it is? I have no idea about anything. Do I look like I wear makeup? So then, why would you pick up an order to come and shop for a client at our? Because store normally it's either prepared or I can get help from the person that works here. So are you going to help me? Are we going to stop this? Are you going to help me or not? No, no. You're just going to walk away. Your manager's going to walk away. That, that, that's. I'm the Okay, well, can you help me then? Well, you're, you're incredibly rude. Unironically, I do get some of this uh, employee's frustration because I used to have a similar thing when door dashes would come into the shops and ask where item A is, where item B is, where item C is, and where item B is. But usually those ones are simple as like, hey, look, Look at the top of the aisles. It tells you what to find down there. Good luck. Have fun. This seems to be like, I don't understand makeups well enough to know the difference between these can you help me type deal. And she's responded in a pretty not so well way. Here we have a very interesting situation. So here what's happened here is we don't have much of the details of what's happened prior to this clip here. All we know is that these guys are in a group at the fuel state at the gas station where a pair of them are getting gas for their bikes. And this guy comes out from his car and is extremely unhappy with them for one reason or another and is pretty much telling them to get the hell out of here. Anyway, things kind of escalate to some degree. Here's the clip. You need to get out of here because she'll call the cops on you. We were getting gas. I know you still yeah. did, but you guys didn't get any. So, but that's okay. You're done getting gas. I'm just serious. She will call the police. We got. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. We're getting gas. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe you should call huh? the next time. I'd definitely go on a note to say that uh, the revving of their bikes like they were doing at the end there would definitely get you kicked out of going back to a place because you're just doing that to piss off that old, that other guy. And the guy with the long hair probably made the right move here, jumping in between. So he's saying, nope, you go, get out of here, don't come back. And then he immediately turns around to the other guy whilst the bikers are still there saying, don't ever touch a woman. 
Like, because clearly that guy was being very weird, especially going up to the girl there, just going, putting her arm around him and trying to talk to her. It's like that's super sketch at it, like the low bar. It, it's like either he did that purposely to try and piss off the bikers to maybe get them to do something that he can easily report to the police, or maybe he's just dumb. I don't know. Either way, yeah. With this clip, we seem to jump into what is seemingly a bit of an ongoing feud, where the, all these people apparently live in the same apartment complex, and apparently these issues have occurred before, and here's where it's all come to a head, where they've decided to uh, block people from coming inside and attempt to just cause issues for it. Let's get into the clip. So you just called me a I don't know who the hell you are. You work at the door, so get the trying to assault me and you're trying to snatch my phone so when they come i'll be sure to let them know that this person right here has just called me tried to stop me coming through a, a apartment complex that i live at that i had the lease to this Sweetie, is what he looks like you he works yourself. at the, the, the door house this is this is his husband his partner Hi, this I individual right six, here uh, right here so way. they just stop tried to stop me this is how this is how they just try to cut me off right here. This person just tried to stop me and call me out of my name. Just don't leave me right now. Stay God. He just tried to grab my phone. He's over here trying to uh, come near my my car and uh, harass my son. My son's in the back seat right now. We just got home from school. Yeah, he's a white male. White male, about five seven five eight. These people just stop me. I don't even know if they live here. I don't even know who sweetie, they are. We have a car to get in. Sweetie, you are, sweetie, you, no, uh, sweetie, sweetie. You're, I'm actually here a girl. With what, are what are you? What are you? Back up. Here, you can guess, get in. guess what? And I got a lease. And when and when you figure that out, what are you gonna solve? What are you gonna solve what? when I figure it? Yes. When I live here? When you find yeah. out I live here? What is it gonna solve for you? I actually have my driver's license. I don't know. I don't know who she. I mean, just by the sounds of this entire thing of him just wanting to know if they live there or not, and just having to have all of that knowledge, it just sounds like the ultimate Karen, just the typical Karen movie that you see from typical Karens, especially on this channel, on a day-to-day -day basis. But I suppose I ask the question, why would you even do this stuff when you're in your work uniform? Especially what happened at the start, where you just push her phone away. It's like, it's especially while she's recording, like, this is going to backfire on you. Th there's no doubt about that. If this video itself doesn't initially get you in shit, the amount of people on the internet who will see it and probably push it to your workplace or to Chick-fil-A in general will probably get you in a bit of shit. So uh, maybe, I don't know, be wise with how you act with people. Maybe. Just maybe. Here we have two neighbors who are out walking their dog and they get in an argument about who can actually stand in this yard here. Order no, you're not. Oh, I'm no, you're not. Yeah. You just lie because okay, I then do what you want to do. Are, and they know that you're so I don't shit. live there, ladies. Listen because to me. Because these are all together. No, don't they are think not. you have the right to come to the, in front of somebody go and ask look where up. they this live, ours, who they should go. No. She was oh, trees in the right It's there. very sad that you live this life and that it's, you have to you come out right there, and you feel like you have to dictate there. where everyone is. We can be wherever the fuck Listen, you have no idea. I don't need to listen to you. I'll just call the cops. Do it. They're ready for you. They are so ready for you. Oh, wait, right here. Go ahead, Karen. We're right here. This is private Go property. On. Okay, this isn't private property. I yes, live right here. It is. I can be anywhere no, I want to be. No, you may not. This yes, is I not can. WBA. I can be anywhere I want. I live right here. I have just as much right to this land no, as not. anyone else does. No, you do yes, not. Yes, I do. Yes, Any I do. Any more than you can come in my private property. I can go anywhere no, I want in this area. This is private property. Yeah, you're right. And it's private property to people who live here, and I do. No, you don't. So oh. I'm trying to explain. Look, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to be bothered looking up any form of law or ruling to do with this type of thing because, well, first off, we don't know exactly what this is. This could just be some form of large green space that is there with no houses directly on the land pointing into the road there because it doesn't seem to be any driveways there. Or this could be someone's legitimate front yard and no one else can be on it. I don't know this information, and let's be real, the laws with these type of things tend to be extremely convoluted. But moving on from that, it's very interesting that she's saying that it, it seems to be a bit of a, oh, you don't live here so you can't be in this area. 
or something on those lines. Or maybe it's more that, no, you don't own this space here, so you can't be here. So does that mean the older person is claiming to own this space? I'm saying older person because they got gray hair. It just makes a little sense, you know? I, I don't get what the argument here is truly about because the arguments that are ha being happened here don't make much sense, if I'm honest. In this next clip, we got a Karen who's stuck waiting in line and got very impatient about it due to a broken machine. Yes, I already said that. There's a problem with the machine. It's not me. Well, well, if there's a problem, we'll have to go somewhere else. So. Go somewhere else. It has my card, lady. It has all of my money in it. Wait, Goodbye. Have a wonderful well, day. It's not my problem is your problem. You're the one screaming at me first. The card is no good. You don't have any money in there. It's the machine. It's have a wonderful day, Karen. Love you. I love you. Oh. Now I'm sitting here. Ho. Gotta love how she goes up there, goes off for like a very split second, then just walks away and then gets even more angrier at it and then just walks away. It's just like all the all the tears of everything going off at once and then she's just like, wait, hold on a moment. If the machine's broken and a car's currently stuck in there, I may as well just move on and go somewhere else because it's clearly not going to be any time soon I'll get to go in this way. <laughs> Here we watch what happens when you fail to restrain your dog when you're opening up your front door to potentially grab an Uber Eats slash DoorDash delivery. Is it just me as one of the bugs that fly past the camera make it looks like the dog just suddenly got flung up into the air at the end there? Here we watch the crazed storage Karen doing something completely stupid. No! What'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? What I do? What I do? How did I get in here? How did I get in here? I don't know. How did I get in here? How did I get in here? You better go. You followed me in here. I ain't following you nowhere. Bro, record that she shit. She did her hand, bro. She when she hit it, she blocked the, the phone like she turned it off. That's cool. Yeah, shut up. She's still following me right now. She's been following me for a good 10 minutes. I don't know what she's trying to accomplish. She wanted us to delete the video. And then she was blocking me from leaving. And she's still following me. We're on the way to a client's house. The, gate, the client has a gate. Uh, so we're gonna have to get her through there. What I mean by that is call the cops for trespassing. She was in that much of a rush to confront these guys leaving the storage unit that she forgot to apply the handbrake or the parking brake, whatever the hell you guys call it in America. We call it a handbrake here because it's a handbrake, you know? It's a big emergency brake, whatever. But I, I just can't get over that she's that much in a rush to get out of her car and go off these people that she forgets the most fatal thing and her car starts to roll away. Good thing she left her door open, otherwise she would have been screwed and that would have been hilarious to watch happen. And, okay, so coming from the story here of events that we get from how she's chosen interaction here, apparently they didn't use the code or the necessary thing to leave through the main gate, and she's not happy about that because she thinks they're following them, or so I don't know what she's exactly thinking here. Like, it seems to be that she thinks they're following her, but at the same time, that seems completely stupid because how'd they get in there in the first place? Why is a big off truck and a tr with a decent sized trailer from what we saw for that glimpse going into a storage unit center and leaving I don't know maybe to grab some stuff out of one of the storage units you know it makes a lot of sense <laughs> and the absolute brilliant is that they chose to follow she chose to follow them afterwards too for some dumb reason 
Here we're dropped in the middle of what seems to be some road rage, where apparently where it seems like the person behind the camera did something on the road that caused the person in the other car to panic and slam on the brakes and decide to follow her down just so she can go off at her like this and call the cops on her. Here's a clip. <laughs> Now the person who recorded this says that they were in some form in a six-figure Mercedes G-Class vehicle and apparently all its safety features would make it so that she couldn't even run a stop sign if she tried because, you know, it would stop. And it's like, okay, yes, to be true, most safety features in modern cars nowadays are pretty good at getting you out of most accidents. But, you know, it doesn't help you when you cut someone off and someone else has to slam their brakes and not get in an accident because there's only so much your car can do in those situations if you've blatantly ignored the blind spot monitoring warnings. I don't know. Seems like a wacky situation. Also, apparently, an additional follow-up, the lady and her kids have apparently been harassing the person who recorded this for posting it, saying that it's unfair and things like that these lines. I'm sorry, but th 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 nothing you can really do about that, I suppose. We've got a Karen who gets kicked out of a plane for comforting her dog who was whining inside of her carrier. No, you don't got me. Much better you do a no, I'm not going to have you touch a thing of mine. You are rude. You are a mean person. And I will never fly Southwest again. Unbelievable. Come on, baby girl. We wish you the best of luck, honey. Thank you. This is I'm ridiculous. sorry. This is I'm ridiculous. Sorry that oh, it's insane. It's insane. It's not like you even had the dog out. You no. had it no. where you were no. petting it. You should be ashamed of yourself. No. It's that. The, second. the complications of dogs on planes is a mess that I really just don't care enough to really go into. But if they let the dog in the plane in the first place and the dog's still in the carrier and she's just patting the dog to just make sure the dog isn't whining that much, I honestly don't see why there's a problem. Here we have a Karen who got herself into a rear-end collision, and rather than just exchanging information with the person that she hit, she rather starts an argument about how the person ahead of her was driving poorly and caused her to crash into his rear end. Get it in life, you son of a bitch. I'm older than you are. Oh, so oh is that something to brag about? Yeah. That's you... got nothing to do with what you did. You're an Yo, you're an You're a proverbial Yes, ma'am. You just can't handle it. Oh, yeah, you're proud of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why don't we start in exchanging information now? Are you ready to do that, or you still want to sit and holler and some more? Well, you know what? Can't you at least say you're sorry? Can't you? Why? You you're hit me. Ma'am, you're the one you that started driving all over the road I like did this. I was getting away from you. You, you, you were behind me. Why did you have no, to go around you me? Cut me off. You, you were behind back. me. You no, tried to cut me you off. Were behind you me ran up the side of me. Because you were coming in from the left. You ran on the right. You you were behind me. What was look so at important? My car. The proof if is you there. You don't get it, stupid you, shit. Go look at my car. If you would have stayed look behind at, me. Look, there's nothing wrong with your car. I tried to avoid hitting you. Nothing wrong with Avoid oh, no. hitting yes, you. Yes, you, you sped up to hit me. Ma'am, if you would have just if you would have just stayed behind me, all this would have been fine. I did. And that one, that if you behind stayed behind me, now. if you were staying behind me, how did all this happen to my car? Because you sped up. Quit if I would have sped up. Look, sorry, honey. I I've been through this before with other people on the internet. And, well, uh, 
Yeah, you, you, you should have had more room between you and that car. If you, especially, especially if you can clearly see that that person ahead of you is driving like a maniac, continuously starting and stopping. You should be trying to make more of a distance between you and that car than what you were, so you don't end up in a rear-end collision. Now, there are cases, as there's been like... One case of brake checking actually screwed the person brake checking over purely because it was very clear that that was their intention. They kept accelerating, slamming the brakes, accelerating, slamming on the brakes, accelerating, slamming on the brakes, even reverse a little bit at times, just purposely doing their best to make sure the person behind them hits them at some point. So it's like, that makes sense there, but not here. And there doesn't even seem to be that much damage. I don't know why you're losing over this. Maybe because your insurance premium might go up because of this. Oh, well. Just be a better driver, forehead. Here we're in a bar where this guy decides to make an attempt to pick a girl up whilst at the bar, asking if she wants them to buy a drink at all. And she responds with, yeah, get me a shot and be back in three minutes or you're done. He wasn't exactly happy with her response, and so it implodes in a bit of an argument. I was trying to be nice. And no, 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 I get that, but you came like, up to us saying if we won the drink, so that's why I thought that. Okay. But we would, I would have never have asked a man to pay. If you you were just asked. Well, I mean, you I offered, offered it. Yeah, but you're like, so that's why like I thought that. Because you're being entitled about it. You're being entitled about it. You're like, I'm not. You got three minutes to buy me a shot that I give you whatever. It's like, I'm not though. You came up to me and said, do you want a shot? And I said, yeah, we want one. You can be a Karen about it. I can get my voice louder. So don't offer it. Don't come up to don't, me! You came up to me! Goodbye! Right, Keep that shit recording, because that shit's <laughs> psychotic! Was that response from her necessary in any way, shape, or form? No, probably not. But at the same note, if you're trying to pick, pick random people up at a bar, you should expect that you're going to get some wacky responses from people. It's just how it is. And then imploding into an argument like this because you got a response that you did not like is just stupid. <laughs> it, you know, there's a thing called just move on. If, you're not, if you don't like their response, you're clearly not going to click with them. What's the point getting into a further argument about this? Seriously, just move on, go and try and pick up someone else. You're at a bar, people are having alcohol, they're going to say a bit silly things, and, well, that's just what it is. There's no need to get in a huge argument saying how entitled she is for doing her response, yada yada, it's just stupid. So, here, this couple here, his wife is handicapped, but unfortunately she is a bit too light, so the, this is bit, the mobility scooter tends to have a few issues with her because she's not heavy enough to properly activate certain mechanics in the seat itself. So, he sits on it, she sits on top of him so that they can actually make use of the mobility scooter. Anyway, they, they're shopping, and on their way out, one of the Walmart employees decided to our point out, like, hey, you can only have one person on it. It says only one person on the scene, and then when he points out why he was on the seat with her, she decides to uh, have a very interesting response to it. Here's a clip. I sit there and tell me handicapped people don't matter? Is that what you just said to me? Huh? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You sat there and said that handicapped people don't matter because I was riding on that, right? Correct? What did you say? What did you say? I said you said handicapped people. I, it, I said that the chair specifically says two right. That's what specifically, and what did I tell you? My wife is too small to sit there and control that, so that's why I'm on there. Okay, and you sorry. sat there and said you don't, uh, you I'm don't matter. The kid, yeah, that's not yeah. I've asked for a manager, and she's refusing to get me one. Yeah, I mean, you guys got cameras. You can see yeah. that reaction. That's yeah, that's yes. ridiculous. Very, very I'm like shaking when she sat there and said that my wife doesn't matter and she don't care about her being handicapped. We got a problem. What happened? I rolled up on here. I was sitting on this. Okay, my wife is too, her weight is too small. This thing won't go. Keep stopping this net. So I sat on, she sat on my lap. We did our shopping. We come and rolling through here. Okay, and she sat there and looked at me. She goes, oh, only one person is allowed on it. It says only one person. Well, I'm sorry. I explained to her that my, you know, my wife, you know, is handicapped and she's small and it doesn't move. She, I don't care, it doesn't matter. Only one person is allowed on there. Are you still well, recording? Yes. Would you, you know? So then I proceeded to tell her what what we did, you know, why I'm on there and she doesn't care. And I said, my wife's handicapped. You're telling me I don't care. As soon as I said, my wife's handicapped, I don't care. And then when we asked for a manager, she refused to call a manager up. 
I, I'm literally shaking right now. And, and here's the thing. I come here all the time. I see kids running around here playing on these things, okay? And that's kind of upsetting. But never once do I ever see a associate walking up and saying something to them, you know? I'm, I'm going to tell you, my father is store manager at Walmart locally. I've never had a problem like this. And that's considered discrimination. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm parked in handicap. If you don't believe me that I'm handicapped, I'm, I got a handicap sticker. I believe you. Very, very rude. So, Tanya... How much is your bill? Um, I don't know. Look, I'm not one to automatically assume the worst of people. I passed, like when I first started watching this, I thought that it clear maybe she didn't say that directly that she didn't care that or doesn't matter or something along those lines. Like maybe that's just the guy over exaggerating it for the video. But as, the more the story goes on and then seeing the other employees' reactions to it, it seems like either A, they're just trying to avoid having the situation go any further, or B, they've had issues with this employee before on a similar location caliber that they are just willing to go yep okay cool what happened okay uh sorry about that and then move on like i don't know it puts me to question on what actually happened prior to this clip and how true is the story from the person behind the camera because from what i can tell there seems to be very heavy weighted validity to it i don't know or don't personally think that she would have directly said doesn't matter if your wife's handicapped but the connotation to what she how she responded to or something the guy might have said probably heavily implied that and that's not exactly the brightest thing to do